from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. Our top story tonight, dozens of children rescued during a nationwide sex trafficking sting. The FBI teamed up with at least 10 local police departments to save a dozen minors in Metro Detroit. Mara McDonald live off the top here at 11 at the FBI field office in downtown Detroit. Mara. Devin, let me bring you up on the stats from our portion of this nationwide sweep. You're right, 12 children rescued here in southeastern Michigan. Eight traffickers taken into custody. Another 46 adults uh, taken into custody for participating in prostitution. But I warn you, you've got to prepare yourselves to realize how young the youngest victim is in all of this. This is FBI video shot at one of the many locations its agents, along with local police, raided over a four day span in what the feds call Operation Cross Country this 11. Woman, which is hard to see her face from here, um, but on the end, she looks about 14. Of the 84 children rescued across the country, the average age was 15, all being sold for sex and trapped in situations well beyond their control or years, including a teenager from Russia who had minimal to no language skills. How did you end up? Coming from Russia to Denver and do this, how did that happen? But the most sickening, agents recovered a three-month-old baby girl and her five-year-old sister in Colorado after a relative of theirs made a deal to sell them for sex for $600 to an undercover officer. Same thing, close cover, shadow cover, just like we would have done here. Nothing changes. Um, as soon as I get the apartment number from her, um, we'll air it out. Here at home, the FBI and 24 other local police agencies worked the sting. They rescued 12 children. FBI Detroit Special Agent in Charge David Gellio saying, while the recovery of exploited juveniles remains our priority, the FBI will continue to work tirelessly to rescue anyone being commercially trafficked and exploited. Back here live, most of those stings were set up on the internet. Uh, you know, most of these traffickers are shameless in, you know, putting it out there about what they have for sale. But the stings went down, I mean, anywhere. We're talking hotels, motels, rest stops, trust, truck stops, and even casinos. Kimberly, Devin, back to it you. It is just incomprehensible. You talk about people selling their own family members. Uh, Mara, what now happens to all of these children that have been wrapped up in this? Well, they've got, you know, dozens of them nationally. The FBI has a special victims unit that handles children who are in these circumstances. And I mean, not just mentally or emotionally, like they provide basic necessities, yeah, yeah. food, shelter and everything else and they move them into social services to try and get them out of this so they never return. Just Back horrific. All right, Mara.